Hello folks, it's Rich here. Welcome everybody. For those who don't know me, my name's Rich. Yep, <laughs> I'm a very, very novice guitarist. I've got a lot of guitars, 119 of them. This is the latest and oh, this is so good. Classic vibe FSR. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Lucas, hi Lucas, Lucas Druge. Is that how you pronounce your name? I hope I've got it right. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Very kindly made a comment on my last video if you like the tone of the guitar and you like the guitar, which is nice of him. And he said, he doesn't know how to connect up the different pentatonic scale boxes and made some sort of comment or something like, I don't know how to do it like you do it, or I don't know how to do it. Now, first of all, as we know, I'm really not a good guitarist. I don't know the theory, I don't know the notes. But what I thought I would just do is try and explain to Lucas at least what, what, what I do, which is totally unscientific and, uh, and not founded on anything. So Lucas, take this what you will. But what would be really useful for those who subscribe or for someone who's just passing by is to comment on you know how you could help Lucas and help me to improve. Now, clearly the answer is get some lessons, learn all the boxes off by heart, which I used to, but I've forgotten them. But yeah, there might be some hints and tips and tricks that someone, someone can come up with that would help Lucas and help me. So anyway, Lucas, so I'm gonna try and explain what I do. I'm gonna drop the camera down a little bit in a second. In a second. And I've also drawn a very bad picture <laughs> of the fretboard to try and give it a bit more context to make it make sense. So let's just start, oop, excuse me, down down here. So I'm in the, I'm in A here, and with the first first position. That fella. So the first thing I do, and I say I'll show you my little drawing in a minute to help this make more sense. So. Um, I use a few notes from some different scales occasionally, which I think possibly one of them is the blues scale. So I sort of cheat a bit or add bits in. So I've added this note here, whatever that is. And also on the uh, D string, I add this one in sometimes if I'm doing a blues thing. Then more importantly, and to act, kind of get back to your question really, so uh, there's a little sort of top hat kind of shape, which I've drawn, I'll show you in a second. So you know when you get to here and here, so I just do this by kind of shapes, I, I just visualise where my fingers are going really. Here, here, and here is... So have a, have a little look at this here. So, oh, I've got my fingers backwards. So these green crosses are the pentatonic scale position one. Then as you can see, when I get to the outside of it here, I've extended it. I've got these, these two notes and this one up here makes this, it's like, like a Lego brick <laughs> or, a, or a top hat. And then the same on the other side, there. A Lego brick or a top hat. So either side of the of position one, I've added three additional notes. Okay, I'll come back to that in just a second. So I appreciate this just on an iPhone, as close as I can get. My chubby fingers in the way, but um, so. So here's my little top hat shape here. And on the other side, so this is where I would have finished off here. See, the other side, I've got. So sometimes when I'm playing, and I don't know what this note is, it doesn't, doesn't fit perfectly, so it's got a different sound. But anyway, so. So you'll often hear me when I'm uh, doing some of this, you know, noodling around. So 
So that is, is literally this this uh, the pent the first position pentatonic. There's little notes added onto the end to make a Lego brick kind of shape. And I'm sure those notes and someone will tell me forms part of uh, another position a bit further along. Now, before we go on to that, so I've also added in a couple of additional notes on here. So when we've gone, so I mentioned, I've added this, this note here, which I think is off the blue scale. This one in the middle, I think another blue scale one. This one. So, and then here as well. And you'll quite often see me add these two notes in here. So I'll, I'll play. So, so I've gone into my top hat here now. again. So I'm, 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 I don't know if this is making much sense uh, uh, but anyway um, I'll come back to my little drawing in a second and then because we're in A up here and we've got A back down here haven't we in, in the uh, a bit further down the fretboard so I, so then the other thing I often do is apply the same thing so the pentatonic there so I've got my top hat on this side Uh, obviously, on the other side, because it's only a 21 fret guitar, I haven't got that luxury. I've got one of the notes here. But I've still got the additional ones that I add in. You'll sort of quite often see me do this. Now, the other thing that, I've, that I, I kind of do and notice, so if this is the top hat on this side here, then there to the outside of your top hat further up. It's not, it's not that far away. And there are some other, other notes from the scale. So one of the top hat notes I've added in here. Go a bit further along and you're still on the pentatonic with a different position. So is this making any sense? I don't know. What I've done on my terrible drawing here, the red circles are some of the, I'm just gonna hold this up for a moment or two. The red circles are some of the added ones that aren't in the in position one. So I'm literally applying this very crude <laughs> Lego brick top hat scenario and adding a few notes from a few of the scales. So then, what do I do if if it's um, if it's if it's B minor and do some like like the one you commented on? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So all I'm doing before I get going, I'll go right. I'm, I'll do B minor now. I'll just familiarise myself. My fingers, that is. I'm like right. Where's my top hat here? Well, there's the bottom. There's the first bit of my top hat. And then on this side, so I'm like okay. So that's the bottom two notes here. Here's my top hat for B. You'll also hear me quite often play top, from the top hat, the first bit of the pentatonic. Which all sounds sound nice. So I added in another couple of notes, which are uh, here. It's the same one if I do it in A, into my top hat. off my top hat here as well. Notes next to it. So all I'm doing is literally using that position one and then get my orientation for where my top hat notes are. Then going further down to where B starts again on this side. 
or any of my top rap notes either side. Obviously on this case it's only really over here. And then I'm moving along and I know that there's this little shape here which works as well in pentatonic. Don't know what this position that's from. So whether I'm if I'm doing it in G, I'll do the same thing. So find my top hat for G. Move it along. Come back over to here. Here's, here's G. I can do top hat both sides now. That's one side. And then I'll, I'll slide this finger along. I know it's skip uh, skip two frets. One, two. And then you've got some more notes to play with. So wherever my top hat ends, so if I'm on G, my top hat ends here. One, two. Oops, sorry. Uh, top hat ends here. One, two, it's on that third one. G, top hat. One, two, skip. Top hat, skip two. G, top hat this side. Uh, G, top hat this side. Top hat this side. G. So you, then, really, because when you've gone from the, the bottom, you've used your top hat, you're, you're not too far away then from where your top hat ended over here. So you've got a few notes in the middle. And if you know your shapes better than I do, then you, you'll be able to fill in those little gaps. You'll probably also notice I never go too far back, back up this way, because after about here, okay, I've got it right. Crikey, that's a bit of a long video, sorry. I, I, I just put this back up one more time. I've got no idea if this is helpful or not, Lucas, but hopefully other people will will comment. So if you're, if you're someone like me and you just don't know all the shapes properly and you're just having a noodle around, it's just a little visual, where am I, rather than what is the note, what, which position am I using, because I just don't know. And I know I should, I did once, but it's, um... anyway, that's it. Please, please comment, and for people who do know how to play guitar, please help us all out and put some suggestions too. Thank you, bye-bye.